What's up everybody? We got another week of crumble reviews and we actually got another four cookie week. This is two weeks in a row and I'm actually kind of liking it. I, I am not a big fan of the six cookie weeks. Like I, I gained weight during those weeks. So I'm glad to get like a four cookie week back in the mix. And by the way, it is a Valentine's theme. So crumble came a little bit a week early and they're doing a Valentine's theme a week early. So I'm I surprised. Wonder, I'm, uh, surpri I'm just like, why a week early? Like you can't even buy these for your Valentine now. Well, I wonder. I wonder what next week is going to be. Then what if they? Mm. What if this is like a? They get they get a, they get a few like Valentine's cookies out, and then next week is like the full display. It could be yeah. that. Oh, let's let's show them the cookies for yeah. this week. It is Valentine's Day this yeah. week, guys. And for those that don't know, Valentine's on the fourteenth next week. Fourteenth. So and that like, is next Wednesday. It's like a lovers like it's a holiday for love. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but for those that don't know what Valentine's, <laughs> are you getting are you getting your Valentine any cookies? Uh, so you know, funny enough, I actually ordered um this thing called Last Crumb. It's the most expensive cookies in the U.S. So I just ordered them for myself. It's one hundred sixty dollars for twelve cookies. Uh, not related to Crumble, just like another cookie brand. I got them for myself, but mm. they have a Valentine's Day package. So I'm just gonna chow down into those. Yeah, what about you? Oh, uh, I'm, no, I don't have any plans for Valentine's yet. But yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see if they change. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Probably not. But yeah, yeah we'll see. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. No. no we'll oh. see. We'll see. Wait. Why are you laughing? I'm just saying. You know. You never know. Yeah. It's unexpected. Yeah. Probably not. We'll yeah. see. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, but Sean, before we begin, guys, uh, Sean, you wanna you wanna give them the news? Oh yeah. This week. So we were actually um we were actually talking to some crumble people. And they told us that Super Bowl cookies are coming out Thursday through Saturday. They're on their way. And what they told us was, they're like, we can't tell you what they exactly are. But our theory is it's going to be based on the teams. Yeah. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Crumble Reddit, like, that Reddit post or whatever, has, like, probably already knows what exactly yeah. cookie it is. Oh, uh, we did confirm that they won't be Taylor Swift related, though. Yeah. That we confirmed. Uh Unfortunately, or no. fortunately, depending on no. which side you're on. So I hope we just get a, do you think we're just going to get a cookie with a Niners logo on it? I don't think either will have logos. I think that might be a copyright issue, but I think what you will have is like maybe like the colors of the teams. Mm. Like like last year, I remember like it was Eagles and Chiefs. Last year was Chiefs again. So I'll, let's just look at last year's Chiefs well, cookie. Well, they did like a red and green cookie. Okay. So the colors will be there. Oh, so both teams combined like a Super Bowl cookie. Yeah, like so. La no, no, no. They, it was two separate cookies. Okay. okay. And, and the, the issue with last year was too. It was only at certain locations, and like I think all of Houston only had Chiefs cookies. Like okay. it wasn't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think this year, I hope it's like every location both. has both. We get yeah. both teams. Oh, so also Thursday we will be doing a, a video on those cookies, and uh, the giveaway will be on Thursday. We promised a giveaway last week. It'll be Thursday. Okay. Yeah. So stay tuned. And stay tuned for that, guys. All right. So yeah. let's go through the cookies, man. Yep. Oh, uh, that is lemon glaze. We've seen it before. It has that garnish of the lemon. Yep. That's a uh, red velvet cupcake. Finally. All, all, always solid. That is van uh, Valentine confetti. So it has like a little bit confetti in it, like a heart shaped yeah. confetti. And then this is ja beautiful. Jammy Heart, I think. Yeah, Jammy okay. Heart. So I see uh, Crumble still going with the double cookie theme. That's another double cookie. Wait, it's actually February. I and thought, I still thought going. it was the end. Yeah. What if they just go the whole year, just double stuff for these cookies? Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited. So yeah. This is a it's a good looking week. Um, but Beanie, you you got you got the first. I'm gonna pick. say yeah. I'm gonna say with us knowing that there's Super Bowl cookies that coming out this Thursday, this is a great week. Oh yeah. We don't we don't like thank you Crumble for a great four four pack week just to have a little warm up. I'm excited for Thursday now. Yeah, I, I, I got something to look forward to this week. See, Crumble, you keep my life interesting. Without you, I don't know what I would do without you. I wonder what the cookies are going to be. I, yeah. hope, I hope it's not just like sugar cookies. I hope it's like a, I hope it's something like, you know, a little bit creative. Yeah. But I'm excited. We'll post it Thursday and we will give a Super Bowl prediction, prediction. that day. Yeah. So. If you want, if you're for, for if you're a sports fan, and the great yeah. thing is, this year they got something for everybody. They got Taylor Swift. They got the commercials. Uh, I'm hosting a Super Bowl party. I'm hoping to have some crumble Super Bowl cookies there. Yeah. Let's see if they're good on. Thursday. They got Usher. Yeah, and SpongeBob. Oh, I heard about SpongeBob. He's opening yeah. up. SpongeBob's gonna be at the Super Bowl, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's your pick, Beanie? Uh, first pick, first pick. This is the easiest pick of the century, Sean. Come on. When life throws lemons. Easy pick. Easy. Pick. I'm surprised. Lemon. I, I think you liked this cookie last time. I think so. No, I've always, I've always liked Crumble's lemon cookies. I, I again, I'm not a big lemon guy by itself. Like, I'm not a big lemon dessert guy, but I think Crumble always does a good job with lemon. You don't like the lemon little, uh, like the cream, like the jam. Yeah. Sean likes his uh, cookies like this, like, like glazy, like the glazy. Yeah. Wait, it's a, it's just a good looking cookie. It's, it's like you can feel the glaze. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, nice and soft. 
Wait. Wait. That's making my mouth uh, feel like sour. The lemon? Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's making it like feel like, like sour, but I like the feeling. You know what I mean? It's very soft. Yeah. Very soft. Wait, this is a different experience from the last one. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm this glad. This is better. I'm glad they're mixing it up. Oh, you, you ready for the rating? Yeah. Three, two, one. 8.2. 8. Okay. Solid rating. Yeah. I like it. It's a good cookie. Like, it's just, it's not like a nine. It doesn't punch you like yeah. a nine. But yeah. It's just good. Sean, you, I don't, I have nothing else to say. Sean nailed it. It's a good cookie. Doesn't hit, doesn't say wow. It's really good though. Yeah. I liked it. Love the glaze. Guys, it, it reminds me of like, uh, that one candy, lemon drop. Uh, like lemon little uh, warheads and this is lemon yes. candy. It's just like that. It's like a little bit less sour. You know that lemon that. candy that they have? I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. just a little lemon candy. If you know what it is, comment below. But that's what it, this is, and I like it. So it's, it's, it's a good cookie. I yeah. would like uh, honestly, like now we're on a we're out we're on a one out of four kind of box. Yeah. So yeah, now we would recommend that one. Yeah, I, I like it, guys. So yeah, next Sean, you got the next pick, and we have three Valentine cookies left. So Sean's gonna pick uh, one of his Valentines. I feel like we gotta start with the most boringest one. I think we're gonna do the. Uh, Confetti, uh, uh, Valentine confetti. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Yeah. Is it, so y'all, this is just a sugar cookie, and it just has like heart shaped confetti in there. So it's literally just sugar cookie. Yeah, it's just a sugar cookie. Valentine's theme. I think Crumble didn't go as hard on this one because again, the, the, the other cookie, other Valentine cookies are pretty good, like look pretty good. And you have thir you have, you have uh, cookies coming out Thursday, so you don't want to go too hard right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You gotta prepare for Thursday. Dang, that's mm -hmm. that's that's wild. Shout out to them. Mm. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Seven point seven. Yeah. I'll so I'll, I'll go first. The reason why I gave it a failing grade was um I, I like it's just nothing special to me. Like I feel like I could get this cookie kind of like at any, any grocery store. Yeah. Like we can go across the street, H E B Kroger. I get something similar. Um, again, it's not a shot at Crumble. I just personally wouldn't get this cookie if like. If I'm getting, if I'm building out of four boxes, yeah. So one out of two, one one out of two, uh, one out of four still for me right now. Okay, okay. So for me, I mean, Sean's right. It's a it's a really plain cookie. Like we can easily go to any grocery store anywhere in America and get this mm -hmm. easily. But I give it a seven point seven out of love for Cupid because it's Valentine's Day themed, and you know, I don't know Cupid's. I, I see Cupid in that cookie. Like it, it's it's Valentine's Day seven point seven. It passes. I'm not gonna say go get it. Yeah, Sean, it's it's very plain. I think I ranked it too high. Oh no, you're good. It's literally just a sugar cookie, guys. It's there's nothing special going on. It's all good though. You know what? What? what you know, it's like you're gonna have those misses. You're yeah. gonna have those misses. I missed. I missed. No, no, I didn't mean you. I meant the. Oh, you know, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I just did it for Valentine's Day. You know, I like Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite. No, I, I respect that. Like, and again, I like the I like the little heart shaped, and uh, I pre I appreciate Crumble trying to do the creativity. They're they're, they're yeah. saving the room for the Super Bowl cookie. Crumble should do like a strawberry chocolate cookie, something like that. No, they did do that. Remember? Oh, they uh, did do that. Oh remember, my that was actually I was debating putting that in my top five cookies oh, yeah. last year. You're, uh, yeah. Okay, I just had a flashback. That remember, was it was like the that that was such a good cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, with the next pick, uh, I think this is pretty obvious. We have to do red velvet because this is brand new, right? Yeah, that's brand so new. So red velvet, we've had it. It's one of the best, one of the best flavors out there. Like yeah. even for cookies, cakes, right? Always do you like red velvet? Oh, I love red velvet. Yeah. That's probably one of my favorite things out there. Um, you know yeah. the you know the fun fact about red velvet, right? No, I, I've heard that. <laughs> is I've, it true? We, we've talked about it so many times. Is it true? No, I don't think it is true. I, it's just people say it's just chocolate. Um, so yeah, that's dyes the dyes red, but it's not. People say it's just chocolate dyed red, guys. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. Yeah, this is like this is a thick boy. This is this is a little bit. It's thicky. a thick boy. It's a thick boy. Yeah. <laughs> thick boy. Thick, a thick gal. Thick, thick. It's a thick boy. <laughs> oh man, this is this is like it looks very moist. I like yeah. it. I like it. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Eight point seven. Yeah. Perfect. We're... Perfect. Eight point seven. Eight point eight. You can, you want to go for sure? Yeah. Um, you know it's it's very similar. I feel like to the other like this vanilla cream cheese like. So you add a cream cheese on top of the cookie. It's nice and moist. It was yeah. soft. It, the reason why I didn't give it a nine is just because um, I feel like th there's a lot of similar cookies to this. Like we have a chocolate version of this. I think we have like the birthday cake version of this. Yeah. Um, but it's a good cookie. It's just all around solid. Yeah, it's, it's a special cookie. Uh, definitely, I would say definitely if, if you want crumble this week, I would say that's an option for just one cookie. Yeah. You can't go wrong with red velvet. And, and Sean, their red velvet's not too sweet. I like that. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. 
you taste the red velvet flavor you don't taste too much of the uh like too much sugar it's not sugary which i don't know if that makes sense but i don't know i like it. it's not overpowering with sugar i like it yeah, yeah. It's all good. red velvet fans go get it yeah and then i mean so far it's, it's red velvet's cookie of the week let's see what, what do we got here two out of four and now this is jazzy i think it's called jazzy um raspberry so basically it's it's a heart-shaped cookie it's a shortbread it's yeah. shortbread so it's like meant to be a little soft and then it's raspberry cream on the outside. So you got the jam in the middle and then you got the cream on the outside if we want to show them real Wait, quick. Wait, how'd they do that? They put pink in there and they put red in there? That's that's special. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's shoot, a special oh, shoot, cookie. oh shoot, there we go. You guys can see the cookie a little bit. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, it looks like a strawberry. No? Raspberry, it's both raspberry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, it's cold, it's cold guys, so it's chilled. Should we should we break the heart in forts? So what should in we do? Forts? Oh yeah, we, we can break it in forts. All right. Here I, think, I, think it'll, I think it'll work because it'll be soft. All right, guys, here's another heartbreak. Let's go. Just another day. Wait, that was actually pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to heartbreak, so. Yeah. Damn. Sean just not acknowledging anything today. Okay. Man. It's that's Valentine's a... Day, Sean. Or... No, wait, it's not even like, it's not even like <laughs> one, it's not even eight days out of Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man, it's, a, it's a soft cookie and it's, um. Yeah. Are you trying the uh, raspberry? I'm gonna do one on each side. Mm. What? So, wait. Mm -hmm. Did you try the side? On yeah, the side? I tried both. Um, you ready? What? Mm. Yeah. So, it's a tough one for me to rate. It's really tough. Because I think. Okay, you ready? I think I know. Uh, I think my score is going to be two different scores. I'll tell you why. Okay. I, okay, so I feel like I want to say something before you give your score. Mm -hmm. So what, what we're scoring it, guys, is scoring basically off of taste. Off of look, Sean, if, we're, if we were giving it... If we were ranking these cookies off of looks, it might be first. Yeah. But we're not. We're ranking it off taste. So is that what you're trying to say? No, so here, I'll, I'll explain it. So What's uh, your ranking? Ready? I, I think... Are you ready? Three? Two, one. Seven point nine. 9. Okay. No, no, no. But, see, but, see. No, but let me explain. Let me explain. Eight point nine is my first score. I would give that without the jam. You take out the jam, you just have it by itself, the cream and the shortbread. Eight point nine. Really? With the jam, I actually thought with the jam, it was. Uh, it just, I didn't enjoy it as much. I like if I if it was just with the jam by itself, I'd actually give a similar score to you, like around like a seven point nine eight. I think. If you don't get the jam, if you just get the outside, this is one of those cookies I'd be curious for Crumble not to have a jam in. You said 8.9 without the jam? Mm hmm So what is that pink filling? No, it's just the raspberry raspberry cream. I just tried it, Sean. I don't know if that's an 8.9 for me. I like it. I don't like it, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's too, too bland. I don't know. I don't know if it's bland. I just think... We have a bias against um, the ras the, the jam, especially like me. I'm not a big jam guy. Yeah. The only time that I can say I really enjoyed the jam was when Crumble did that like chocolate strawberry jam cookie. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. Um, but all right, uh, I would say try it. I think this is one of those weeks. Here's how I would do it. You get one. Um, you get one lemon if you're getting a four box cookie. If you're getting a four box, you have to, right? Right, Sean? Yeah. Okay. I'd say, um, and then either do two uh, velvets or two of the of the of the Jamie the Jamie hearts. Okay. I'd say, I'd say forget about the confetti. Um, that'd be my goal. I agree with that. If you're doing if you're doing a four pack, no matter what, I agree with you, Sean. One lemon, two velvets, and one. I guess try it. Yeah. And everyone has a different taste. Yeah. Yeah, you're never going to get this cookie again. Definitely try it if you're getting it. But I wouldn't say, like, if you're getting one cookie only this week, I would say red velvet, right? Yeah. I, I would say don't take the risk with that. There's a risk with that one. But yeah, I would say if you're just looking for a nice, solid option, like, you're just looking for one cookie, get the red velvet yeah. cupcake. But if you are if you're, if you want to get, like, you know, four-pack, I feel like you just have to include yeah. it, like, no matter what. Because our friends like to treat themselves on Friday afternoon after yeah. a long day of weeks, after a long wor week of uh, work. So I would say red velvet's the way to go, no matter what, because you know you're gonna be satisfied. Yeah. You just don't know with the other one. But if it was if it was Valentine's this week, I would say get get all of them, right? I mean, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, I, I would say so. If you especially if you're treating um, a you, gal, you know, you know, a gal or or, or even or, or, or a guy or a guy, yeah. Or, um, you know, so I would say yeah, just 
solid week, decent week. I wouldn't say it was like an amazing week, but it was decent. Yeah. But, but that could change with the Super Bowl cookies too. I, I enjoyed the week, Sean. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, I like it. And I'm actually hyped for Thursday. Yeah. Crumble, crumble. That just made my vibe. Like I can't wait now. Like I want to see what it is. I'm gonna be refreshing Thursday night. All I mean Thursday morning, all day. I'm excited. I, I honestly may like look up if there are any spoilers, but it looks like. If, if you see any spoilers, please send them to me. It looks like Crumble's like keeping it, yep. you know, up up their vest. But yeah, I hope uh, we will see you guys before Valentine's Day next week because we'll be yeah. Thursday posting. and Valentine's. Oh yeah. Yeah, Monday. Oh yeah. Um, so next week should be Valentine's again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe uh, we'll we'll see what Crumble does, but maybe next week will be. Has like to, they have to. It's, yeah. it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, you have to. So yeah, yeah. let let us know what y'all are doing for Valentine's Day below. Um, fun fact: fifty percent of American marriages end in divorce, and uh, what? this is the highest level of suicides in the United States ever. What? So uh, there's a lot of sadness going around. There's a lot of lonely people. Just know that you know <laughs> that your your love, regardless. Um, yeah. Wait, Sean, wait, what? You were just talking about Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just brought that up. So you said 50% of the weddings go, uh, are going to get divorced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just throwing out a fact. I mean, yeah, I feel like, so you're... Y'all are probably the 50% that it won't happen to, but, you know. So, I mean, life advice. Is, is it me? Yeah, we can do whatever. I mean, I, I, that's the advice so, I give. So, piggybacking off of what Sean said. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> piggybacking off of that stat, guys, I say, uh, for life advice, you know... Don't settle for less, right? You know, know your worth. I feel like when you're looking for a partner, you know, know what you want and don't settle for something that, um, just to settle, right? You'd be like, oh, I'm 28, let's get married. I want to settle now. No, I mean, you know, just keep exploring. Like, find the one. I, I feel like everyone has their partner out there. Yeah, well, I may... Uh, <laughs> you, you, you did not like my life advice. I, I disagree with that. You did not like it. I, I know you did it. Listen, I, I think uh, we're, I'm I'm 28. Oh, my. I wasn't talking about him or me. No, no, no. I don't mean you. Uh, yeah. I just mean like everybody's situation is different, and like in in rea in, in this world we have this illusion of choice. So just just do with that as you will. Advice is uh that's the thing with advice though. It's like so situational. It is. Like it for is. example, I did my master's in business. People come up to me and ask, should I do it? And I'm like, it it's so situational that yeah. like only you can kind of know what's best for yourself so again uh in, in this situation i think just do what's kind of kind of best in your situation but like you don't agree with like the point about not like don't settle right don't just settle no, know what you want know what you want i think like i think a lot of times like that can get you in trouble i think again with the illusion of choice I, again i don't want to like turn this into like a conversation of like <laughs> you know like dating or, or everything but all i'd say is is like without getting too deep into it just just pick do what's like best for you at the right time or or, or you know or, or whatever you think so everybody has their um you, you know when when they're at their peak of dating when they're, when they're at their when they're at their lowest so just kind of you know you guys will figure it out <laughs> okay you guys you all yeah with that guys if you don't so sean okay i want to ask you questions so what, what what advice do you have for people out there that don't have a valentine's next week do you think they should force it and get a valentine's or just what would you say uh just curious yeah i guess um you know just enjoy a meal by yourself i guess i'm having dinner for one next week so yeah that's pretty normal though yeah um yeah i guess i wouldn't i wouldn't change things up i i, I would just like you don't force a valentine you want to hear a funny valentine story sure why not? so one of my one of my friends reserved uh, tables at restaurants for two people and just went by himself last year. Who is this? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh. I forgot. I forgot. All good. Well, again, we'll see you guys before Valentine's uh, Day next week. Thursday, too. Yeah, Thursday. We'll see you guys Thursday as well. Yeah. Hope everybody has a great week and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah.